What's up everybody, Camro here. Today I'm playing Pokemon Daycare. This is another RC game jam 5 game made by Vendilli, and uh, it seems interesting. I'm gonna give it a go. So far, the UI is quite charming. I kinda dig the vibes. I'm gonna start a new game. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Here, people and Pokemon live and work together. While some try to be the best in battle or contest, you run a daycare. Okay, well, I'm down for this. Ooh, look at these. It's the breeders. Are you a boy or a girl? I shall choose to be a boy. Because, as you can tell by my voice, <laughs> I've got a deep, manly voice. So, I'm gonna name myself Camu. Many O's this time. So, you're Camu? Yes. Well, Camu, go forth and raise those Pokemon. You betcha. I'm gonna raise some very nice Pokemon. Well, here I am at my desk. There's no Pokemon checked in right now. Okay. Are any trainers gonna come in? Oh, someone's coming in. Ooh. You should take a break sometimes, Camu. That's okay. I just started. I don't need to take a break. If anything, I need to get going. Be sure to give lots of head pats for me. All right, Camu. Oh, I'm going to head pat. Oh, you betcha. I took Obopa's Snubble. Have a good one. I'm going to pet this Snubble. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's take the Snubble. Oh, my. That was loud. Snubble, what are you doing screaming out here? I'm just trying to take care of you. I'm going to pet you. He, oh, he sounds so angry. What do you want to do? I will patch you, Snubble. He goes still. She stroke her side. Oh god, is she dead? Someone's coming in. Somebody else brought another Pokemon. Did you see the latest episode of... Oh, uh, you haven't? I almost spoiled it then. Can you raise my Metatite for a bit? You took Mao's Metatite. Have a good day. Okay. I gotta pet... I, I still have to pet Snubble. Okay, Mao's Metatite. Well, look at him floating around. There you go, Metatite. I'm gonna pet you. Yay. Okay, Snubble. I'm gonna, pet, I'm gonna pet you like crazy. Snubble has, like, the worst cry. That is terrible. Someone's coming in again! Oh, man. What happened here since I last came? Nothing. I was just petting your Snubble. Thanks for taking care of my Snubble. I got 11 bucks. Hell yeah, dude. Maybe I can buy lunch. Bye, Camu. You live in LA? Lunch is expensive. Shit. Unless you eat ramen, like I did tonight. Heyo, what the hell is this? Bouncy ball? Ooh, that's cool. At first, I was wondering what, why it like jumped away from me, but I realized I'm pushing it. Metatite, let's play push ball. Copycat, copy what Metatite does. Okay. Ooh, ooh, what did Metatite do? Oh, you know they did a little wiggle. Ooh, ooh, yeah. What did Metatite do? Ooh, that was a jump, easy. Okay, what? A, ooh, another jump. Oh, I thought they were gonna do like multiple, like do a jump into a spin. Jump. Easy. Ooh, another little wiggly wiggly. I don't want to end until I do a spin. I want to at least do a little spin move. All right. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Come on, Metatite. Ooh, there it is. There's the spin. That's the move I was looking for. Alrighty. Ooh, another spin? Well, I can't resist the urge to spin again. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I shall quit, though. That was good, Metatite. 17 experience points from playing. Oh. Dude, this Metatite's going to be level 100 in no time. Here's Kretcha, the one and only. Uh, just announce yourself as you enter every room. Kretcha. I need someone to take care of my bud, you. Maybe it's you, my bud. Would you look at the time? I'm late now. Oh, Kretcha. Okay, fine. I'll take care of your Pokemon, too. What else is going on in here? Ooh, I'm gonna pet him. Cheeky nibble, you cheeky little bud, you. I'm gonna kick this friggin' thing into your head. Mm. No, it doesn't work when they're... <laughs> wait, oh, where are you going, Budju? Oh, wait, someone's coming in. Min! Hey, Camu. Hello. I think I have room for Snubble. Oh, you brought Snubble back? I hate your Snubble. It's disgusting. It shit's everywhere. Look at it. Look at him. It screams at me. I'll pet you. Little cheeky nibble. So I, how do I get rid of the Pokemon? Do I just have to, like, pet them multiple times, and then they'll come back? Is it like random chance as to uh, what people come by and what they want? Is this is this is this all there is? Snubble, I pet you. Okay, I'm gonna go into this room. Check my phone. Do what? Oh, I can buy stuff. Can I go to the mart? How much money do I have? Eleven thirty-one. I can buy some food. Ooh, sour food. I don't know what my Pokemon would want. Maybe I'll just buy some plain food. Hmm. It's 
not a very good daycare if I don't have any food, right? Their Pokemon are just gonna come over to my place and starve? What kind of daycare runner am I? Okay, what else can I buy? Or an advertisement? Daring Designs. Ads that work. Thanks for calling. You want to buy an ad for your daycare? Sure, but it's gonna cost you. How does 50 sound? I don't have 50? What do you think? I'm made of money? Crap! Balked at the price. I guess that's reasonable. Yeah. How much does it cost for me to upgrade my daycare interior? That's cool. The concept of doing expansions and upgrades, that's really cool too. A hundred? Nah, that's okay. Can I go out front? I do think that's really cool though, the, the gameplay loop. Oh, change the hours? Oh, I don't want to change the hours. I'm going to keep it open. Look at me, I'm not even manning the desk now. <laughs> I'm just going to do little loops. Check my book. Oh! No food preference. Oh, this is great. You can see stats on all of your Pokemon that you have. That is really cool. I appreciate that very much. All the Pokemon that are checked in. I can save too. You know me. I'm a big fan of saving. So what do we got here? We got a Meditite at level 9, a Budu at level 9, and a Snubble at level 8. The Snubble screams terribly. No food preference. And these guys don't have any food preference either. You can see the clock and everything too. That is cool. Okay. Bud you. I'm gonna feed you some plain food. Because the food teleported into here. I called it up and then it was just in my uh, in my hands. That'd be great if you could just call a place and have them like teleport stuff to you. I just wish teleportation was real, man. Driving on the freeway for two hours to go like back and forth between San Diego and LA. God, that's a pain. God, that's a real pain. Look at all these little guys giving me cheeky nibbles. I guess I'll play with Budju. The playing, I thought it was fun for a little bit. You know, you do it, you do it like once or twice, and you're like, okay, that's cool. But uh, I can't imagine myself doing this for much longer. Spinning. <laughs> How many times this little spinny Budju? Are you gonna get a little dizzy and throw up there? Does Budju have a little mouth for throwing up? I think Budju has a mouth. It's gonna spin and spin and spin. Maybe I'm gonna be the one throwing up. I'm, I've done like a 10... Metatite just stood on top of me. But yeah, at this point I feel like I've done a 1080 no-scope. Ooh, wiggle. There we go. Okay, that's enough, Budgie. Get your experience points. If that's the only way for them to get an EXP... Good golly gosh. It's kind of stinky. Snubble. Yeah, you just, you just pet them. And you pet them. And you pet them. Cheeky nibble. And then you can kick around this ball. <laughs> Have I seen all that there is to see? Ooh, can I kick it down in here? No. Well, I wonder if I need to like call the people and tell them to take their Pokemon back home so I can get new Pokemon in here. I guess this is this is the life of a daycare runner, right? This is what it means. Which one should I make my favorite out of all of them? Maybe the Meditite? I'm gonna pet you. A cheeky nibble. I'm just gonna keep petting Meditite. Let's go still. Nuzzle. Go still. Wait, what was that? Snubble? What are you doing over here, you little asshole? Oh, can I leave? <laughs> Look, I, I, see, I see the external world calling to me. Cheeky nibble. I wonder if people are going to come and take back their Pokemon in the night. Because it seems to be like evening time now. Maybe they won't. Ooh, check, check this out. I'm going to do a little cheeky little trap here. Okay, no, go that way. No. Oh. I'm trying to do a little corner trap here on one of the Pokemon. Snubble, get into the corner with the ball. He's almost there. <laughs> He's almost there. You can do it. Or she's almost there. There you go. Nuzzle. Yay, well, this is fun. This is fun, what else do I do? Um, maybe I do need to buy an advertisement. Get more people coming. Maybe three is all I have room for. The Pokemon are leveling up though. Look at that. They checked in at level five, and now it's level 11. Checked in at level four, and now the Budgie's level 12. See, I'm a good day daycare mart. Uh, daycare owner. <laughs> uh, I just don't feel like padding and choosing one of three options is like the best gameplay. 
I'm glad that the game has progression systems. But, um... If it just means choosing if they jump or spin... What happens if I choose a wrong option? Okay, I'm just... He jumped there, but I'm gonna choose spin. What did Budge do? It spun again. Wait, what? It just plays their cry at pitched down? Instead of, like, there being any punishment. Okay. He did a little spin move once again. Look how beautiful these Pokemon are. Okay. Quit. Dude, Budgie was, uh... Budgie's my bud. Hmm. What happens if I go down here and hit close? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna see everything I can. Um, open. Oh, you can set the opening hours? Closing hours? What if I don't want it to close? Change the hours for the daycare. Interesting. So I think I am closed right now. It's 22, yeah. So we gotta wait a little bit for it to open up. Can I sleep? To advance the day? Can I just make it so that way the mart is always open? Maybe I need to do that. Alright. Closing hours. 23. And then open. One. Maybe now my mart would just always be open? So it is 23 now. Maybe it's closed for like the next hour, but then it'll open up again. And then people will come and take back their god dang Pokemon. Look at you, Budgie. Look at you. I'm gonna pet you. Yes. Here, have a ball. Here. Here. Yes, Snubble. The snubble's kind of a... Kind of got a terrible cry there. You cheeky nibble. I don't want to play the game with snubble, because then he's gonna just scream at me when I do, like, a spin move or a jump. Oh boy! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! I will play with you, Budgie, because you are good. Oh no, it's kind of hard to see what Budgie's doing when he's, uh, when my head is obscuring them. Although, actually, based on the limited range of options, yeah, it's actually not that hard. Okay, I thought this was going to be a little bit harder than, than it ended up being. I wonder if I can evolve the Pokemon in here. Like, oh, your Metatite evolved into a Metacham. Or your Budu evolved into a Roselia. You evolved into a little Budboy. Little Budboy. Why? Snubble. Snubble. Why, why do you gotta be the center of attention in here, Snubble? I'ma pet you. It's okay. See, Metatite never asks for anything. Metatite... Oh, there you are. I was about to say, Metatite just kind of completely disappeared. Oh, if I did play now, then that would be terrible. Do, like, some Russian roulette with Metatite. All right, go down there, Metatite. Yeah, let's play some Russian roulette. I'm gonna hit play. All right, what do you want to play, Metatite? What, do what are you doing, Metatite? Oh, that's a wiggle. Oh, that's obviously a wiggle. All right, what else you got? Um, spin? Ooh! I got it. All right. Another spin? I think I would see him if it jumps. If I think if it jumps, then its head will, like, pop. Hey, Snubble, get out of here. Snubble, can't you see Metatite and I are having a moment? Ooh, that's a good moment, too. I, at first, I thought this was going to be a terrible idea. I guess if Metatite moves one to the right, then it'll be bad. Someone's coming. Yay! The champ is real tough. Slap down a pretty big shot challenger the other day. So how much was it for raising Snubble? Ooh, a billion dollars. Ni uh, 19. No, it was a billion dollars. You owe me a billion. Okay, fine. Damn. I thought I was going to be making some real money there. Well, I took care of Snubble. Now we can really play. I'll pet you. Ooh. And I'll pet you. Yeah. Oh, someone's coming in. Hello. Hope the Pokemon aren't giving you too much trouble. Be sure to give lots of head pads for me, all right? Vespaqueen. Or is it Vespaquen? Let's see what kind of food they like. I can't tell what food they like. Level 31? Goodness gracious. I'm going to be making some real money on Vespaqueen. You get more money when they evolve at higher levels, correct? I mean, when they... Um, when they level up at higher levels. So leveling up a higher level Pokemon... It's gonna give me more money. 
Look at you, Vespa Queen. Look at you doing a little dance. I'll do a little dance, too. Ooh. I can jump. I can wiggle. I can shake my, uh, shake my tushy. I can twerk. I'm never gonna twerk in my life. <laughs> I would never do that. I'm gonna jump, though. And it's gonna be that easy. I'm gonna quit now. Vespa Queen gained experience. And someone's coming in. Hello. The chip's real tough. Slot down. Yeah, I heard about that, actually. Hey, what are you doing riding your motorcycle in my daycare? That is so rude. Take care of my score uppy. Oh. Get, he's going to destroy the, the nice wooden floor that I have installed in here. That's very rude of him. So what else we got? A level 28 Skoruppy. Skoruppy's in the bug water group? I mean, I guess it's it's bug slash water and Skoruppy's bug poison, right? 28, 31. Got some good levels up on Budju. I've been taking good care of Budju. Oh, someone else is coming in. Hey, Kiamu. What's the rate? I forgot. It's a billion dollars. Budu, thank you for the money. Hmm. So now I wonder if I need to put in an advertisement. I'm starting to make some money now. How we doing? Ooh. Your boy's got 71 bucks. I got three out of five deposited Pokemon. I guess if I pay for that installation, I could hold more Pokemon. Hello, Scruppy. I'm a Patcha. Yeah. Vespa Queen? I'm a Patcha. I kind of wish I could do more. Oh, someone's coming in. Hello. The champ is real tough. Slept on. I heard. Yes. Everybody keeps telling me this. Is this big news? Is a champion beating somebody news? 25 bucks. Bitter food can. Hell yeah. Alrighty. Well, do any of these people like bitter food? Well, Vespa Queen. I gotta feed you something. Have some bitter food. They munched on it happily. Vespa Queen likes it. Okay, I'm gonna play with Vespa Queen a little bit more. Ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna jump. What else you got? Ooh, you got a spin move? You got a little spin move for me? Okay, I'll spin. That's fine. I'll play. I'll play. One of each. Yeah. There we go. I will quit. Oh, it's starting to become daytime. And someone else is coming in. Hey, the champion smacked somebody down. Blah, blah, blah. So are you just open all the time? I am. That's my whole plan. Lots of head pats. Meditite. Hey, Mal, what the? I already took care of your goddamn meditate. Get out of here, you goddamn god. Yeah, you jabroni. Look at you. Man, look at you. Best Queen didn't level up yet. It does like bitter food. Oh. Now 16 now. Dang, man. I mean, dang, Mal. Uh, out of all of these, uh, which one would be the best? Someone's coming in. Oh my goodness. Somebody else. Sunrise day was just so beautiful. Too bad you're always working. Good thing you have room for snubble. Get that goddamn snubble out of here. I wish I could decline. Like, would you take care of my snubble? No. Your snubble's a little roughhousing rupscallion and a little shit bitch. I'm gonna pet Vespa Queen instead. <laughs> yes. Vespa Queen's cry is also quite terrible, actually. Skoruppies is pretty good, though, when you pet him. He sounds actually like he's... Oh, he's a little real. He's happy. Oh, someone's coming in. Hello. Kretcha. Oh, not you, Kretcha. Oh, my... Yeah, you bud you. Okay. Well, at least you got... At least you brought back bud you. He's my friend. So how are my Pokemon doing now? Vespa Queen hasn't leveled up yet. Skoruppy, not leveled up yet. Metatite. Snubble. Bud you. Oh, excuse me. I want to see these Pokemon evolve. Eh. Budju. I wonder if Budju will ever cross the uh, level threshold for Roselia. Or is that a friendship threshold? I don't remember. Pardon me for not uh, giving two hoots about Roselia, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm going to play with Skoruppy. He's doing a little wiggle. Ooh. He's doing a little spin move. What else he doing? He's doing a little jump. I feel like this game has a pretty good like foundation, but there's not a whole lot of like gameplay for me to do, you know? Oh, let me uh, quit out of that. I kind of want there to be more for me to do with the Pokemon in the yard. Because now they're all here, and that's cool, but now what do I do? I pet them, or I play rock, paper, scissors 
where I where I see their hand first. You know what I'm saying? It's like I could buy advertisements, but that would increase the amount of people that come. I don't think I need that right now. I could buy an upgrade, but then the upgrade is just going to be me having more Pokemon where I do more of the same stuff. If anything, I think the the main area of the game that needs to be improved on is the interactions within the yard. Because everything else so far is actually pretty pretty darn good. The 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 foundation is is very solid, I think. It's a good concept. Having the uh, daycare and being able to upgrade it. It'd be cool if you could upgrade it so that way you have... Like, turn it almost into, like, an idle game where you have employees that you pay and every day they level up Pokemon so much or they get them so much experience and you can get more and more employees to take care of the interacting for you. So that way you almost become the manager of the daycare. So you have, like, multiple employees and, hey, maybe this employee is better at pe uh, playing with the Pokemon. Maybe this employee is better at petting the Pokemon. Maybe this employee, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? So, like, maybe have it so there's, like, five different possible interactions. And some of them are, like, super effective interactions for the Pokemon where Metatite likes to play copycat. Budu likes to be pet. And then you want to assign, like, daycare people to each Pokemon where they have, like, a super effectiveness. One area of inspiration that you could look to would be the, um, what's it, like the host minigame in Yakuza 0, where you are the manager of a nightclub and customers come in, and those customers could be seen as Pokemon. And depend, like, customers are then, they, customers have their own preferences, and you have to assign a, like, a host to them to take care of them almost. Yeah, I would say try looking into the host minigame from Yakuza 0, the nightclub one. And then do it, and then putting that through the lens of this, where then you're also upgrading the daycare, you're taking care of new Pokemon as they come in, and then after a certain amount of time, like each Pokemon could have a variable amount of time that you take care of them, where Vespa Queen could be four hours, and it would let you know that it's going to be like a four hour thing, or maybe it wouldn't, I don't know. Like maybe it could just be four hours and it wouldn't tell you that it's going to be four hours. Snubble would be a six hour, and you assign different people to them, and you want to make sure that you have enough staff on hand to support all the Pokemon, otherwise you're going down in there and you're also doing it yourself. I mean, you could still do it yourself as well, like, that's always the option. I feel like there's a lot of opportunities here. It's a cool game. Ooh, Mao. I didn't really take care of your Metatite too well. Only nine bucks. Aww. Oh, sweet food, though. Thank you, Mao. I do like how Mao gives me food. I'm not eating it, though. I'm giving it to the Pokemon. Now, who likes sweet food? Vespa Queen, I already fed you. Scoruppy, I'ma feed you some sweet food. Disappointingly, oh no, he doesn't like the sweets. Aw. See, that is one thing I do like. I am a big fan of the fact that each Pokemon has different preferences when it comes to food. Now, if that could be expanded in concept to other preferences and other mechanics within the game, I think that that could add some real depth and make it really, really like rewarding and fun to play. It's still pretty good. Here's Broar, the one and only. Did you miss me, Vespi Queen? Only nine. Ah, oh, I wanted to level him up. Only nine. That's garbage. That's chump change for a guy like me. I'm a billionaire. Thanks for calling Caring Construction for your building needs. A daycare yard expansion? That's doable. It'll cost you a hundred bucks, though, if that's not too much to ask. I accept. Give me the expansion. I'll have it done in no time. Wait, is it done already? What happens if I try to do expansion again? Carrying blah blah blah. A daycare yard expansion. That's doable. It'll cost you a hundred though. Oh, just a hundred again? It only costs a hundred for the next one. Oh, someone's coming in. I want to check out my new yard. Oh, the Pokemon are giving you too much trouble. Vespa what? I took uh, you oh, I had your Vespa Queen. You had your Vespa Queen for a grand total of like three minutes. Ooh, yard expansion. Ooh, this is a big yard now. Got some more horizontal uh, width to it. I kind of wish I could run. And I, maybe if there was like a little like grass puddle here. You know, maybe if the yards were also split up into like different biomes where, oh, I have a polywag and I, I want you to have, oh, you don't have any water, so I can't, you can't take care of my polywag. 
like Geodude would need a little mountainous region. Or maybe like you could even choose which section of biome you wanted to invest in, where I want to make a biome, like a mountain region here, um, a watery region here. And if you put Pokemon in the correct biomes, then they get like a 1.5 times multiplier on experience or on like love or whatever values. That could be cool too. There's, see, there's a lot of opportunities here to expand upon this and make this even better. You got a good base. You got a good base. Hey, Kiamu, you can you raise my Meditite? Mao. You know what? Since you're such a sweetheart, I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna take care of this Meditite for you, and I'm gonna pet him. The music in the yard makes it seem kind of like somber and sad too. It should be kind of like excited music. This is like somebody's grandma just died music. <laughs> You know what I mean? It should be playing a uh, Accumula Town. The da 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 ba 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 ba. You know I'm. Wait, where'd that guy's Meditite go, by the way? Mao, where'd your Meditite go? Didn't I take it? Take a break sometime. Good thing you have room for Mantine. Okay, see now I definitely need to have some sort of water area. Am I just gonna have a Mantine flying around on my lawn? Mantine. Oh. I guess I'm not gonna have anything. Yeah, I don't have Mantine and I don't have Metatite. Uh-oh. 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 Does it still say I'm taking care of them? It does. Where are Mantine and Metatite? Where'd they go? Hello? Where'd you little bastards go? Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, what happened here since I last came? None of the Pokemon died or disappeared. <laughs> I don't know what you're. I don't know what you're inferring. Ghastly shouldn't give you any trouble. <sighs> sure, I'll take care of your Ghastly. <laughs> I actually threw it in the trash. <laughs> okay, where the, f where are all the Pokemon? Okay, where are all the Pokemon? Is Yard Two broken potentially? This is a possibility. Yeah, this game is kind of cool. I would like to see it transformed almost into like an idle style game where there's more... I, I mean, it is to be like hard to do. Maybe not impossible, but very much improbable. If there was some kind of like bars on the screen that were like filling for each of the Pokemon that you had. You know what I mean? Like up in the top left or along the left side of the screen, the bars are filling over time depending on the experience. Or it like keeps track of all of the Pokemon in the HUD. You're welcome, I took care of your Geodude real good. Now, um... Meditite's in the yard now! Interesting, so it's like a queue system. Where only the first five appear, and anything... Like, the sixth Pokémon does not appear in the yard, but will take the place of any Pokémon that's disappeared. Or maybe it'll move to, like, the end of the list, where if Pokémon 5 is removed from the list, then the sixth Pokémon will fill that spot. But if the fourth Pokemon is removed from the list, then the fifth Pokemon will take the fourth spot, and then the sixth Pokemon will take the fifth spot. God, I don't know. Wait, what? Did you bring your Geodude back? You brought you, 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 dude. What is with these trainers? They don't want their poke. They, they just, they, they take their Pokemon out of the daycare for two schmeckins. Maybe they just want to battle somebody, and then they drop them right back off. Like, somebody in their town is talking shit, and they say, I bet I could beat your Geodude. And they go, no, uh my Geodude's being trained by the best breeder in the region. He's super smart and handsome, and I love him. Oh, yeah? Well, you want to fight him? And then he has to come over here and grab his Geodude. I'll be right back! And then he runs out and does the fight and then loses. He gets his ass kicked. He drops his Geodude right back off. Hey, Camus, it's going to cost me how much? Probably only, like, nine bucks. I never even saw your Mantine. I never even saw it. Here's something nice. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Um, what Pokemon did you have? What was its name? Huh? <laughs> huh? Okay, how much money do I have? Do I have enough to buy an advertisement? Ooh, 38 bucks. Rolling in the dough, baby. I can pay rent this month. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> Not with $38, I'm, f I'm fucked. I'm screwed. Someone's coming in, oh goodness gracious me. Do you see the latest episode of JoJo's Bizarre? Oh, you haven't? I almost spoiled it then. <laughs> Road roller die, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so Camus, it's gonna cost me how much? 
13 dollars enjoy yourself Ooh, i can afford an advert now i can afford an advert i got 51 dollars Ooh, yeah baby i'm gonna buy the best advertisement put a bunch of put a bunch of put a bunch of butts in it want to buy an ad for your daycare sure it's gonna cost you how does 50 sound except Ooh, baby yeah Alrighty, I bought the ad. Now, okay, now, okay, now what? What happens now? How do I know? I feel like this game would benefit from a more involved HUD, like something letting you know that an advertisement is active or what the bonuses are. It gets dark so quickly, doesn't it, Camu? Were you good for Camu? Were you good for Camu, Ghastly? Oh, they're asking their Ghastly if their Ghastly was good for me. They're talking to their ghastly right now. Fifteen? Wait, really? I didn't even see your ghastly. Okay. Yeah. I must be the worst daycare attendant of all time. I'm losing Pokemon. I'm investing poorly in advertisements. I'm drinking on the job. Well, maybe that last one's false. But I'm bumbling around like a bumberfuck. I'm talking to their Vespa Queen and I'm patting them. I'm just gonna, oh, with more people, maybe this is the advertisement at work. I'll have to go to bed after this. Budgie needs some playtime, so here I am. What, I've been playing with Budgie. Maybe not recently. Wait, no money? What? Give me money. Okay, before I end this, I'm gonna show my disdain for Snubble by cramming all of the food I have into its face. There you go, Snubble, eat the spicy food. <laughs> Was that all the food I had? Okay. Before I end this, I gotta do something. I gotta take all the money that I have, all 16 of it. Oh goodness gracious. These people won't let me breathe. What's the rate? Ooh, 15. Oh hell yeah, now I can afford more food. <laughs> Fuck you, Snubble. <laughs> I'm gonna buy all the bitter food. Uh, three of them. There you go. And I'm gonna buy some plain food too. Yes, I'm a terrible daycare owner. All I buy is bitter, gross food. If you stay at my daycare, oh shit, they heard. They heard me. Even Camo, Kabuto shouldn't give any trouble. But look at the time, I'm late. Your Kabuto is probably not even in my yard. He probably isn't even appearing. Yep. A uh, yep. Where'd Snubble go? Where'd Snubble go? All right, looks like I'll have to cram all the food into your face, Meditite. Hey, <laughs> eat the bit of food. Hey, <laughs> actually, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna be an asshole. Oh my god, I can't breathe or think. You see anything interesting lately? I've seen some Pokemon disappearing. Rufflet. Okay. Um, how many Pokemon? This advertisement is doing. Oh my, some commotion. What's going on? It's an egg. Put it on the shelf. For adoption? Yay! Something interesting happened. I thought my Pokemon were gonna be fighting though. They might hatch into a Scruppy. Holy shit. Scruppy got down with somebody in this yard? Which one of you was it? Was it you, Metatite? Was it you, Bud, you? Holy. I, 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 uh, uh, oh, I can't. I can, I can only walk outside for like two seconds at a time before another person comes in and interrupts me. I just tried to jam some food in these people's faces real quick. God, Scruppy. I'll pet ya. Scruppy. Consume this bitter, gross slop. Meditite. I got some more slop for ya. Here you go. Plain food. Think of it as toothpaste. Bud you. Here you go, baby. Here you go, baby. I'll feed you the bitter, gross stuff. It seems like they all kind of like it, actually. There we go. Someone's coming in. Oh my goodness. Can't move what happened here. Your Pokemon all died. No room for Snubble. Hehe. <laughs> Suck it, Snubble. All right, well, I think this is enough for me. Thank you so much for watching me play through Pokemon Daycare. It's pretty fun. It's got a lot of interesting ideas. I would just like to see those expanded on more because this game is, it's a good base and it can only just grow. It's interesting. There's um, some feedback that I think I already gave in all the video. Um, just some uh, train of thought, free thought stuff. Oh, someone's coming in. But yeah, um, I'm just gonna say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Pidgey doesn't get to take a shit in my yard, no siree. 
Anyway, thank you all so much again for watching. Thank you again to Vendilli for making Pokemon Daycare. And I hope you guys have a good one.